chefing is like family, so it's always part of networking and anyone that works in the catering industry knows that chefing is a family. We spend so much time there that everyone gets on with each other. And then when you go to events like today, it's it's part of meeting outside friends that you don't see often, but when you do, everyone respects each other, everyone knows each other. And I think it's hugely important that networking is, is part of chefing life, you know. Uh, trying to make our business and, and our careers our own profession attractive to young chefs, young people exiting college and school and so on is, is, is an obligation, quite frankly, for people, you know, of my experience definitely. And I think we've got a lot of responsibility on our shoulders to make it as attractive as possible. You know, we all understand the passion that food and the creativity that food brings and it can be but you know, people have to work in this business as well, and we need to make the work environment as positive and as, as, as healthy as we possibly can. So, organisations like uh, the Chef, Nef Chef Network Ireland are absolutely superb. Is it very important for a chef to unite and grow together, especially with staffing crisis at the moment, and with other massive issues out there like wastage of food, etc., and, and how we train chefs is very important. That we can discuss and come up with the best ideas for us all to grow together, and this be better for Ireland as a whole. The best kind of networking for chefs is like small producers, small artisan producers, learning more about, you know, the raw milk kind of capabilities and stuff like that, you know, um, uh, to butcher, buttery skills, to anything like that. I've got this, you know, I've got a goat, what do I do with a goat?